welcome. This is Mislid, and we are back with some more of the Blackwell bundle. Last series, we played Blackwell Legacy, which is game one of the four-part Blackwell bundle. This is Blackwell Unbound, as you can see from the giant title on your screen right now. Which is obviously the second game, because I wouldn't play them out of order, because that would be rude and mean to both of us. Because I would be all kinds of confused, just like you would be. So the first game, you can go back and watch the series, it's just six parts. It's, you know, the whole game's only an hour and a half, two hours, something. Um, the first game, we followed around Rosa, who talks to a ghost and helps. And together they, you know, solve problems for other ghosts. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of sixth sense. But that's how it is. So, this is, like I said, the second game in that series by Watch It Eye Games. This time we are not playing as Rosa. We are playing as Lauren. This is Lauren. This is Rosa's aunt, who is dead in the first game. So this time we are going back into the past by like 25, 30 years. And um going to play as her. So let's us start this up. In game instructions, sure, let's see them. In addition to okay. Infinity. I've been told it's beautiful, but I don't think it's anything special. But when you live like me, most things become quite ordinary. Life, death, tormented souls, it's all the same to me. Sometimes I wonder if anything will ever surprise me again. Sometimes I wonder if I even care. That was depressing. It's like before, I'll try to keep... I'm going to have captions on. I'll try to shut up when they're talking. I will always do it. I'll make little, you know, smart out remarks every now and then. But hey, that's what you got. So that was probably the um, place she takes ghosts to. Just like in the first one. And Rose will take ghosts somewhere to kind of lead them to the light. I assume that is where Lauren takes her, you know, ghost in this game. Just a little different looking. You see, we're in 1973 this time. I believe we're in 2006 yeah. before. Oh, hey, you know I don't like that. What's your beef anyway? I am not talking to you. Oh, promises, promises. So what's next on the list? What's next? The balcony. Why, gonna throw yourself over and join me? No, I'm <laughs> having a cigarette. Great, you want a cigarette. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever the hell you like. So they're shot on a good foot. So this game... Then I can get on with this. Not moving from this spot until I finished my cigarette. Fair enough. So the first time I played this, um, I did not have the instructions on because I figured I played the first game like 20 minutes ago. Of course, I can know what I'm doing. Well, this game is a little different because it has this right here, which means you can switch characters. So this time we get to switch to. Um, Joey, if we would like to. And we have our inventory we start off with case list, cigarette pack, a lighter, a lit cigarette, and I think that's it. We have notes. She's taking a note. Those are like the last game. Anyway, so let's switch over to Joey. Alright, so yeah. So before, I was so confused for a while because I didn't actually read the tutorial. I just, you know, I was like, hey, I got this, and awful. This scene so it took me like 15 minutes to figure out what the heck was going on before I realized I could switch to Joey. Hey. What? Let's do... Joey does not seem like the apologetic type or the roundabout type. Why the heck are you so mad? You honestly don't know. I nope. have no idea. Typical. If you don't know, I'm sure as hell not going to tell you. Also typical. Oh, right, no insult. Are you done moping, or do you want to grind your teeth some more? Christ, Joey, can't you just leave it for one minute? 
No, because there's a game to be playing. Look, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? No idea. Um, exactly. Take another drag of that cigarette, darling. You get real ugly when you stop smoking. Oh, is Ouch. that right? Well. Ugly, am I? Take it easy, dear. It was just a little joke. A joke, yeah. I'm a riot. Like today, when those pipes burst. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is, is that what's got you in such a guff? I got soaked, and you just laughed. I'll be honest. Well, it was funny. It was cold and wet and slimy. <laughs> it wasn't funny. You should have seen the look on your face. The way you jumped up and down and ran in circles, squealing. It does sound funny. Wasn't funny. If you say Sounds so. funny. Okay, I'm finished. Let's get on with this. There's a few things we haven't checked, right? Yes, I've got the list right here. Well, let's check it. Every other case today has been a false alarm. Maybe this will be an easy night. Oh, that ain't gonna happen. Look at okay. So back to we're back to Lauren now. Is there a case list in here? Yes. Ugh. Every one of these leads has been a dead end. Just two more to go and we can call it a night. So of course. These are both gonna be like real things. This one looks promising. Residents have reported strange music on the promenade late at night. Nobody knows where it comes from. Development Corporation has halted construction after a series of accidents. Probably nothing, but worth checking out. Alright, Roosevelt Island Promenade. Let us also look around. Today's paper. It's tabloid crap, but it gives us most of our leads. Fair enough. Can I have this camera? Got it. Excellent. Can I have the dictophone? I guess I could also known as a recorder. Telephone, cast some cigarettes. I've already got a pack. Should last me till the end of the day. Fair enough. Candle in a bottle. Another ashtray. You have two you have three ashtrays right here. What is your problem? Four ashtrays. That's an ashtray right on top of the TV. Looks like one. What's we got? Photos and the photos. Hey, Joey does not look happy. Sorry you had to go through that, Mom. I guess you weren't strong enough. Ouch. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. What are you doing with yourself? No idea. Look at that smiling face. Keep being happy, Jacko. You deserve it. You just gotta stay the heck away from me. There he is. The family legacy. So in the first game, Jack is um, Rosa's father. You know, the character we played was Rosa. And Jack died in a car accident, I believe it was, before the game even starts. But this photo also exists in Blackwell Legacy, the first game, but you can't see Joey in it. Or at least I never saw Joey in it. Maybe there's a point where you can. But I didn't. And I don't even think they're labeled. I think it's just a oh, photo that's there. We need Last day time jar. I, counted, I had around $60 in here. I'll save it for when I really need it. I should remember that, so we have $60 in our rainy day jar. I don't need to wear my coat, it's summer. It's summer and it hasn't rained for weeks. I don't need to wear my boots. Well, okay. Let's talk to Joey. I'm done fighting with you now. Let's talk I'm about case here, stuff. Sweetheart. Um, chat I'm with Joey. Mad, you know. Keep it up, doll. I might start to believe you. Well, That's that was not I useful. Yeah, we'll talk more later. All right, let's look at what we got. We have a cigarette pack, a lighter. This, okay, that's all simple. Camera, I don't know what that is. Can we use the dictation it's a machine? Recording device. It's called a dictaphone. I've been using it to record my dreams. Ooh, let's listen to those. Testing, testing. Hello? Does my voice really sound like that? <clears throat> Gotta cut back on the cigarettes. Anyway, I've been having some extreme dreams lately, but I don't remember any of them. I get the strangest feeling that they're important, but I can't put my finger on why. I'm keeping this recorder next to my pillow so I can record what I remember as soon as I wake up. Okay. First entry, February 21st, is it? God, my head. I dreamed tonight. 
It's already fading away. I saw my mother. She was calling out to me and waving. She was smiling, and her face was bright. So bright. Hey, keep going. I see a child, seven or eight years old. She's surrounded by other children, but she's all alone. I call out to her, but she doesn't hear. Something is wrong. With me? With her? It's fading. That's sad and depressing. I see a man in tattered clothes. He looks at me and screams. I look in a mirror and see a huge horned demon. For some reason, I'm not surprised. Great. I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge staring at the seaport. I'm alone, strangely at peace. The water, it looks so cool and inviting. Suddenly I'm in the water, floating. Okay. I jumped Interesting. Into a strange room. The walls are a deep pink, and there are books and papers everywhere. Joey is behind me, trying to get my attention. I ignore him. I feel strangely good about it. I see Jack and Maria. They're far away, but I know it's them. I see his glasses and her bright red hair. I want to join them. I run to catch up. I almost get there, but I, I trip and fall. Maria turns to help me up, but it's not Maria. She's got red hair like Maria, but it's someone else. She says she's sorry. Then I wake up. So as we saw Jack a minute ago in the photo, Jack's her brother. Maria is Jack's uh, wife. I'm in a hospital room. There's a Chinese girl lying on the bed. I want to help her, but she doesn't want to be helped. Suddenly, I say a magic word, and her eyes widen with trust. I made a friend, and yet I don't want her friendship. I ran away. I'm on a fire escape. I'm talking with a man who wants to be my friend. Suddenly, his face turns blue. He, he can't breathe. He dies. It's my fault. I could have stopped it. That's morbid. I'm in a huge house. I see gas lamps and electric lights. I look into a mirror and see an old woman. She reaches out of the mirror to grab me. I take her hand and hold it tight. Then I wake up. I'm on a train, speeding away into the night. Next to me is a man. I know nothing about him, yet I trust him. I think I love him. Then he disappears. What did I do wrong? Talking to strangers. I'm sure that's it. I'm trapped. Trapped somewhere bright. I see my mother and a woman I don't recognize. I see Joey far away, calling out for me. We're fighting for our lives, but it's too late. The world goes dark. Ugh, I hate that dream. All right, I'll play the first recording. Okay, so that was the last one we got. Good. I was about to say, I don't want to be this many of these. So let us get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. Right behind you.